here we are, off for another tar mission. We've got Devin here, say good day. Ben and Robbie. We're going in for five days. We had a pretty cruisy start to the day. We um all the supermarkets were closed yesterday because it was Good Friday and we didn't have gas and food, so we had to wait for them to open up at eight o'clock. Went in, got that, and here we are. So we've been walking for about 45 minutes now, round about. We're just gonna head up to the bottom of this hill up here, just looking for some tar, see what's around. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so we're well on our way now. Stopping for a quick refuel, some electrolytes, we're away. All right, so we're just about at our campsite and we spotted our first tar. Probably can't even see it in the camera. It's just over there. Sitting at about 80 meters, just staring at us, nanny and a kid. That should be pretty safe from us today. Carry on up and probably bowl one for, for a bit of meat though. All right, so we just set up camp down there the boys and um, I'll just come out here for a quick glass to see what's about we've already seen about 20 tar on our way in but just all nannies and kids um, pull the squatting scope out and the big camera out and hopefully get a bit of a feel for what's around I've been in here before and generally it's really good so I'm pretty hopeful once we get on to the mobs we'll um, be laughing might just need to do a bit more walk walking tomorrow so see how it all goes not a bad morning this morning, it's pretty cloudy, should be in for a decent day, hopefully, bit of a walk. Get up! Why? Get up Robbie! It's too You slept in, it's 9 o'clock. It was not. I heard you guys up at 4.30 for <laughs> Hello. Alright, so it's the morning of day two, and yesterday we didn't get up too much, but we got some nanny tarmac, which we didn't get on film. I was in shooting it, Robbie shot one, and Ben over there shot one too. <laughs> so yeah, no, that's good. Try and do a bit of a roast tomorrow night, have some steaks, shouldn't be too bad, but today we'll Headway upstream, probably try and stay low just because of the clouds coming down a bit so we're not going to be able to see too much up too high but see what's around up there and try and find these boys a bull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably only at about 1100 metres altitude here and found a big old glacier melting away. Boys are just there glassing. Checking out what's over there. We didn't get a lot of footage of what we saw that day, but we saw about 60 nannies. No bull tar seen for quite a while, so we carried on up the river. So here we've got a bull tar. He's black, eh, bro? He's black and he's walking around like he's an old bull too, but... It's too far to tell. So we might... Yeah, I don't know what you guys want to do. It's a fair way to go. <laughs> Just to assess an animal. <laughs> Can't assess him from here though. He'd be a good 2Ks away probably. Yeah. Alrighty, yeah, so after briefly looking at that tar, me and Ben have decided we're going to go and have a better look at it. Robbie and Dean are going to stay there for walkie talkies back there. Alright, so we're just on our way walking back out now to the camp and we've just seen a bull tar up here so I'll get the camera on it and try and line Ben up quickly and see if we can get a crack at it. It's pretty good, it's just up there whistling at us, it's pretty, pretty relaxed though, so we'll see what happens. He's pretty cool. They fucking smoked him, bro. That was a hard shot.
Come on, roll to the bottom, boy. Alright, so it's the morning of day three and we've assessed a big mob of bull tar way up the top of the mountain at about 2,000 metres altitude. It's about 15 bulls in the mob and three or four of them are pretty pretty decent. Look what we look we're gonna go up for a closer inspection of them. But we've got another hunting party, about three and a half Ks up the river. So we've told him to jump on the radio. But I don't know if it'll quite reach, but we'll give him a go anyway and see see what his plans are today and tell him what our intentions are and hopefully he gives us the green light. He's a pretty good bugger. We um, caught up with him yesterday on our walk back. He gave us a cold beer. That was good too. Best beer. So I'll see if I can get through to him. Eh? G'day Sean, how you going? So it's the morning of day three. Still in the same t-shirt. Devin's just spotted a bull up here, about a K away, so we're gonna sneak up there, take the gun, and see if Devin can bowl it over, eh? Look at the bot on it. <laughs> Do you hear? Yeah, it's W. Yeah, mate. And then you carry on up and there's, there looks like there's a few little that that next rocky outcrop. Yeah man. Get to there, then sail around from there, or even maybe even that spot you might be able to see it. Yeah, right to that, or we'll just cruise on up then. Probably in bit of guiding us in on the bull that's slipped us. Snuck up round behind the rock. It's probably a 11, 11 inch bull, 5 or 6 year old. Good one, good starting bull to see. Look pretty mean, eh? Good woolly now. I think it's going to be 12 inches, we'll have a closer look once we get up there, but um, so we're just going to head straight up this rocky outcrop up here, have a geese and hopefully he's a couple hundred yards on the other side, but probably should get a move on, he's, he's on the way, but we've got the wind in our favour, so he's, he's going to smell us, so we should be pretty safe here, as long as he doesn't see us, sweet. So this is the bull that we uh, glassed in the morning and um, it was just above camp um, and I was really excited to get up there and get him scope because this has been my first tar hunt and uh, we secured the bull and caped it out and took out the head. Broke, you're gonna get another shot here, isn't he? Doesn't know we're here. Nice, bro. Sacked him. Good shit, bro. Like a mean first bull tar. He's gonna be coming down the mountain. Oh, he might have just held up there. You definitely dropped him, bro. Man, excellent. Fuck you. Let your bull down. The other boys are just on that ridge, just down there. Probably can't quite see them. Okay. We're all tidied up. Devin's bull tar is on board. Got the heads there. Strapped to the gun. The Osprey bags are made for carrying tar heads. So it's pretty good. Couple of back stakes off it. The other boys are way up there now. Tracking up to a mob of 18 bulls up there. They don't have a camera or anything though, so we probably won't get any footage of that, but we might have a story from them later, hopefully, if we're lucky. The big 14 inch bowl. Alrighty, carry on down, eh? The a steep shed. The boys are there. There's a mob of about 15 bulls up there. So hopefully, they find something. Robbie just needs to shoot one, then we're out of here. Devin's got his first bull tar. Ben's got his first bull tar yesterday as well. Robbie's already shot a bull, so he'll probably be looking for a for a good bloody trophy, which you might not find in that mob, but 
Saturday anyway. See how you get on. Fucking man. Oh, that's what you're doing. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, that's what I'm So we've just assessed the modern full car up in front of us here at about 1900 metres altitude. Nah, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> they're a fair way away. There's some up on the skyline there too. Fair old hike ahead of us today, you might say. <laughs> Me and Devin tried to tidy up a couple of nannies from the tent, but. Couldn't quite do it. While the boys were out chasing some bulls, we thought we'd try our luck on some nannies from camp. Both shots missed, so we decided not to waste any more bullets or wound any animals, but they were close enough for us. Boys are going to be back soon from their big hunt, cooking up a feed of some freeze dried peas, potato flakes, gravy, salt and pepper. Tar. Can't go wrong. Fucking add it up. Three bucks, one dollar. Fucking peas are like two dollars as well. That's about six bucks. The tar, and that's fed four people. Dollar fifty a head. Here come the boys from their tar hunt. Late one. Fucking eleven thirty. Pushing it a bit, boys. Oh, chuck your light up there. They're just gonna come down this hill here. Opposite us, back up to camp. Where their dinner is waiting for them. It's not actually 11.30 either, it's fucking... 7.50. 10 to 8. Good effort though. Hopefully they've got some goods to show us. Here's a photo of the bull Robbie got, it was 12 and a half inches and 7 years old. 